Hey guys, welcome to Safi Maxed. In this video, I'm going to discuss one very simple application of Schrodinger wave equation. In majority of quantum mechanical problems, we generally solve Schrodinger wave equation to find wave function for a given known potential. However, in some cases, the reverse may be asked. That is, we may be asked to find the potential for a given wave function. Here in this video, I solve such a problem. Let us start from the wave function of the problem which is given by this one equation. Where capital A is normalization constant and the rest quantities carry their usual meaning. If we analyze the wave function of equation 1, we note that it is written as the product of position dependent and time dependent parts. That is, equation 1 can be expressed in the form psi x of t equals phi of x times chi of t, where I have written phi of x equals a times x minus x cube and chi of t is the exponent of equation 1 that is exponent minus iota e times t divided by h bar and we know from the properties of wave function that the potential for such wave function that the foot that the potential for such factorizable wave function is time independent we further know from the properties of Schrodinger wave equation that for such wave function we need to solve the time independent Schrodinger wave equation only for the position dependent part of the total wave function. In other words, we need to solve the time independent Schrodinger wave equation given by this one relation. So in order to find the potential Vx, I first need to find the derivatives of phi x with respect to x. That is, I first need to find partial phi of x over partial x and if I apply this operator to the value of phi of x, I can write it as a times 1 minus 3x squared. Taking derivative with respect to position once more, I can find that partial square phi of x divided partial x squared equals minus 6 times a times x. Now putting values from equation 3 and equation 6 into equation 5, we can write the result as minus h bar squared divided by 2m times minus 6 times a times x plus v of x times a times x minus x cube equals e into a times x minus x cube. Now we see that every term in this equation carries the normalization constant and we can cancel that out from equation 7. This must be so because the potential in the Schrodinger wave equation has nothing to do with the normalization constant of the wave function. Equation 7 can straight away be put into this one form where I have divided every term with x minus x cube. And this can be solved for the potential v of x by taking the first term on the left to the right and then cancelling the x in the denominator and numerator of the second term on the right, writing the potential finally into the form e minus 3h bar squared divided by m times 1 minus x squared. Thus the potential is a function of mass which is a characteristic property of the particle, total energy E and the position x of the particle. We can analyze this form of the potential by plotting it for a constant energy E against position x for a particle of mass 1 and setting h bar equal to 1 which takes this form if I plot this in Mathematica. So this is the form of a, so this is the form of the potential which gives rise to the form of the wave function given in equation 1.